Holy crap, Libra. It's finally your turn. I'm sorry for the delay. I've literally been pulled in a thousand different directions since the last time I was actually able to sit down and read cards. So, we're here. We're in the moment. I know the end of May is coming up close, but you know, the universe sends me messages when you're supposed to hear them. So, let's get this done, Libra. This reading will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. May 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay, too. You can check your moon rising and Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers, are always welcome here at the Fireside and Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome, and I appreciate you guys stopping by. Before I do the invocation and throw the cards down, there's two quick things we have to go over. One, never... Make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It is just not a smart practice. Don't do it. I, I would never recommend that to anybody. Two, if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you, if it doesn't make sense in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It is not always going to be your message. That is just how tarot works. All right. Without further ado, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May 2021. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May 2021. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us today. Let's bring Li Libra, uh, 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 Libra to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Libra, why are you here? Six of Swords, you're moving on from something. Okay. Stop and take a breath. I need to breathe. I don't do that nearly enough. All right. What are we moving on from? In the past, we have a Ten of Wands reverse, something that needed to be released and wasn't. A cycle that needed to come to an end but didn't. Pause for a second. Mercury retrograde starts within the next 24 hours. Some say the 28th, some say the 29th. I mean, it's not a date. It's a time. <laughs> so it's not like it kicks off at midnight last night or midnight tomorrow. It's a time when that event occurs. So may have something to do with that. But this was in the past, so... If there's something you did not release, maybe it's time that you did that. What else? Nine of Swords reversed. Oh, I am not catching the negated meaning of that card in the upright. I'm catching the bat crap bonkers vibe. Because a reversed card can be either the canceled out effect or the amplified effect. That is amplified. Somebody went bat poop bonkers. Might have been you, might have been the person you're dealing with, I don't know. So something was burdensome, something kind of made you go a little nuts. Present moment. Two of Pentacles. That's a process card. That's decisions, weighing options. might not necessarily be totally grounded in this decision because you got one foot off the ground. But you're trying to balance. And sometimes when you got both your hands full and one thing weighs more than the other, you gotta lift a foot up off the ground. I mean, that, that's just physics. What's coming in? Seven of Swords. I love retrograde, I really do. I really do. Mm. Remember, we were just talking about that thing that didn't quite come to an end. I love and hate this guy. And I'm going to tell you why. Insert whatever pronoun you need to insert, but I love and hate this guy because, well, he's not exactly the most honest of people. He, she, whatever. This represents a person not having the purest of intentions. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a second. But usually when that comes back or pops up in a reading, something's coming back to you. Oh, 
I love this. Libra, it's your card. Justice. Justice comes running in when there has been injustice. Balance returns when there has been imbalance. So here's the good news. Balance is coming back in. That's amazing. Bottom of the deck. Four of Wands. Again, excellent. I got to keep coughing up. I've been up for a while now, so. Uh, Four of Wands. Stability. Foundation. Doors opening. Possibility of an 11-11 twin flame connection coming in. You know, if that's your thing, if you believe in that sort of thing. I'm still kind of on the fence and how I believe on that, but... It's all about your belief system. Moving on, building, doors opening. We'll clarify in a second. Mm, five of Pentacles on top of the Ten of Wands reversed. It is possible to let go without letting go. It's impossible to release with one hand, but not both. And I think this is what happened because that's the I miss you card. Five of Pentacles. Libra. Oh, wrong side, but it's staying at the top of the deck. Ace of Wands reverse. It's going to be part of your advice later, so we'll just keep that one in mind. I will not shuffle it back in. Hmm. The world reversed. On top of bat poop bonkers. Not releasing, not totally letting go. Oh, Libra. You did not want this to end. Either you or somebody else did not want this to end. Somebody fought this. Two of Pentacles. Temperance. Okay. Push this over here for a second. We're going to concentrate on these. Allowing change to come. Trying to balance. Temperance is the card of patience, also the card of Sagittarius. If it's setting off an alarm in your brain, great. If it's not, it may or may not involve a Sagittarius. Anyway, it's about patience. It's about energy flow. It's about positive communication. Take it however it resonates. Positive things are working. You're moving forward. You could be building something on a foundation that you want it built on. Doors could be opening for you right now. Because you had patience with it. Because energy flow was positively restored. Okay. This is where you're at right now. And remember, just because you're getting messages in May does not necessarily mean it's going to apply within the next 96 hours, but it might. It might. It could have already happened. It might not happen for the first few days in June. I don't know. This is just when you're supposed to receive the message, just so you're aware. The universe works like that, at least for me. Death reversed. Yeah, uh-huh. This person has not changed. Whatever's coming back, whatever you couldn't let go of or they couldn't let go of you, change has not occurred. Evolution has not occurred. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a second. I think you guys got something coming back, and I think it's kind of something that you didn't want to let go of before. 
or they didn't want to let go of you. They always come back for their stuff, you know? They always come back for their stuff. They always come back for those last two swords. Six of Cups reversed. Oh, goodness. Justice comes out when there has been injustice and when balance is being restored. And this return may leave the last bad taste in your mouth. Or you're going to leave a bad taste in theirs. It's... It's the not-so-happy memories. Let's get clarity, friends. Let's get clarity. You... Okay, I've got a couple of cards that are trying to slink out of their decks here. <laughs> Things are shifting. Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards in the table for Libra? Sun and Rising Venus, May 2021. The star reversed. Card of Aquarius. Could be an Aquarius that you're disconnecting from. It's healing that has not taken place. Okay. So you're moving on because the healing hasn't taken place and you would like it to. Okay. Okay. I feel like I got to throw another one on that. Seven of Pentacles reversed. It literally came flying out of the deck. You know, you guys know I don't edit this stuff. When it flies, it flies. I literally read, upload, walk away, <laughs> go about my day. I, I don't I don't know how to work the Chromebook to edit anything, so I'm very low tech. I barely know how to work my smartphone. <sighs> Seven Pentacles reversed. Impatience. Wasn't growing, wasn't going anywhere. Libra. Some of you may be moving on just because you're sick of waiting around. Be careful what you move on to. It's retrograde. Just throwing that out there. By the four ones. Oh goodness. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles upright. Mm -hmm. 
for some of you, an old seed that never grew may have finally blossomed. Be super careful what you do with that. I'm just throwing that out there. You know, sometimes that old house plant just decides to bloom when you leave it on the back porch long enough. Mmm, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mm. Why the ten of wands reversed? Six of swords reversed. Why the five of pentacles? Seven of Swords. Oh my gosh. Not one of those merry-go-round things. Libra. Libra. It was burdensome. You never moved on from it. It came back because it missed you. It didn't have the purest of intentions. It left two swords behind. Couldn't let it go. Went kind of bat poop bonkers. Why the nine of swords reversed? Two of swords reversed. Painful decisions that you didn't want to make. It's the two swords they left behind, by the way. There they are right there. There's the two swords. Why the world reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. Why the Nine of Cups reversed? It's more upside down than it is right side up, so we're taking it upside down. That's how I roll when they go sideways. Strength reversed. This was like a spiral, a spiral of a lack of happiness. You couldn't trust this person. They spilled all your cups, but yet you didn't want to let them go. Yet you didn't want it to end. Libra. Why the two of pentacles? Four of pentacles reversed. Finally able to release it. Allowing change to occur. Allowing the process to happen. Releasing things. Letting them go. Why temperance? Why temperance? Three of cups reversed. Oh, that explains it. Disconnecting. Why the three of cups reversed? Three of pentacles reversed. That's two threes, both in the reverse. This may have been third party for some of you.
you can't have a balanced situation when there's imbalance in the equation. If this is making sense for you, go ahead and leave a comment. You released it. You let it go. Balance is being restored. Positive things are coming into your life. Because you ditched something that was third party. Probably what uh, what old, old Seven of Swords was uh, not being so honest about. Probably that thing that kept you up at night. And I'm going to say this right now. Sometimes the hardest decisions we have to make are the best ones we ever make. Fair statement. All right. Stepping into the future. Why the Seven of Swords? High Priestess. It talks about 5D connections, law of attraction, things like that. This, And I'm just saying what's popping into my head right now. Really. Just saying what's popping into my head. Soulmate connections. And I will say this. A soulmate, it's not always someone that you're romantically attracted to, things like that. They are people who come into your life to teach you the lessons that your soul is supposed to learn in this life. They can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Doesn't matter. You're still soulmates. And when you have a 5D connection like that with somebody, you have this weird ability to call them back. Be it good or bad. And if you, if you chewed on something energetically long enough, even if it was way back when, source works in their time, not yours. I'm going to tell you that right now. Source has its own timetable. And it's called Mercury Retrograde, but neither here nor there. Sometimes it's called Mercury Retrograde. It's not immediate. Most of the time. Usually, at least in my case. A little more in this high priestess. So, oh, well, Five of Cups reversed came flying out. Okay. Whatever this was came back to end your river of tears. But here's the thing, didn't you already end that river of tears on your own? Are you still filling the ocean? Maybe they came back to end their, their waterworks. They missed you. Maybe they know they screwed up. Why is death reversed here? Why is death reversed here? King of Wands. I love this guy too. Full of energy, loves to have a good time. He's the Knight of Wands all grown up. Without a horse. I'm not going to spell it out for you because I actually try to down surround it when this subject comes up, but sugar and spice and all things nice, this person has not changed. And remember, you disconnected from this third party crap once already. I don't think anything's changed, but they're going to try to play this card on you. One more on this King of Wands. Eight of Cups. Hmm. 
One more on the Eight of Cups. Shadow side. Probably one of the few times I'm actually kind of happy to see this card. Because you know this is toxic. I think you're going to send them packing because you know this is toxic and you want balance back in your life and things are finally going well and you released it. You let it go. You let it go a while ago. It was hard. It sucked. You probably cried a lot. You probably filled your cups with the wrong things and you probably had trust issues for a while. Who wouldn't? Seriously, who wouldn't? You know what you need to do, Libra. It don't You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to. Like I said, don't make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. You don't have to listen to me. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? Nine of Wands reversed. Why the Nine of Wands reversed? Before I speak it, why? King of Swords reversed. I will ask. I get it. King of Swords indicates kind of a bad attitude. I, I can understand why you would have a bad attitude toward this person, but... <laughs> Throw in the towel, allow justice to... Allow justice to be restored. Okay, fine. Throw in the towel on it. Go ahead and be angry. But... Just be careful what decisions you make and what words come out of your mouth in anger because Source is listening. And Source doesn't always hear quite correctly. Be careful. Just be careful. Why is the Six of Cups here? Oof. Libra going to give him the boot. Mm, King of Pentacles. Now that's a man that knows his worth. Insert whatever pronoun you want to. You know your worth. One more. Justice reversed. Remember how up here we talked about rebuilding something with an old seed? Maybe that house plant that you left out on the back porch a while back decided to bloom something? Cool, if it blooms something, don't bring it back into the house if it's just going to throw you back off balance again. I'm just saying. Just be wary. Know what you want and accept nothing less. Libra, I love you. We're going to get your advice. Woof. Woof. Mm. <clears throat> Ace of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands upright. 
I'm hearing be careful what you text back. I don't know what that's all about, but... Be careful what you text back. Don't text back. And this is, I just don't engage. I got to throw two more on that. I'm hearing don't engage, but three of cups are versed, three of wands are versed. Okay. Don't suck yourself back into a third party if the ship has already sailed. Don't get on the ship. Don't get on the ship. Two of Wands reverse and Temperance in reverse. Don't let them throw you into this did I make the wrong decision mindset and don't let them throw you off balance. Ten of Wands reversed and the two of sorry, Ten of Wands upright and the Two of Pentacles reversed. It may be time to just release this for good. And again, not let it throw you off balance. You're doing well. You're on the path to wonderful things. Don't let them throw you off your path, Libra. But that's what you got for May. Let me know. Okay? Because I know it's toward the end of the month. I got behind again. These things happen. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful rest of your May. And I will see you guys in June.